big targets. You know, we got uh, both outside guys right now. We've got height, we've got speed, we've got uh, the ability to go up and get the ball. Uh, we're running really good routes, uh, and, and they're playmakers. We got playmakers. Obviously, I inherited uh, a good group of receivers. Got a lot of guys back, a lot of talent. Uh, we're big, we're fast, uh, we're smart. Um, we've gotten a lot better at our route running, uh, just cleaning things up. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a fortunate situation to have as much talent as we have at those two positions. Uh, right now, outside X, we obviously have Cordell. Uh, you know, he's uh, going to be a superstar. Uh, you know, he, he gives us leadership all the way across the team. And behind him right now, we have Aaron Thomas. Uh, he's a little different. You know, he's fast. He's quick. He runs good routes. Tough guy. And, uh, you know, out at Z, we have Marquise Mosley, um, another tall target. You know, him and Cordell look a lot alike as far as the height and their, their size. Um, and he, he brings a lot of ability to, uh, to the game. Uh, behind him, we have DJ Ward, and he's a lot like Aaron Thomas in a sense, not quite as tall as, as Cordell and Marquise, but runs great routes, tough, quick, uh, and we'll go get the ball. I believe it's just work ethic. I mean, you know, no one works harder than he does. Uh, you know, he wants it. You know, you know, you think a guy who's had so much success here, you know, it might have gone to his head, but, it, you know, it, it's the farthest thing from that. I mean, he comes, you know, he's. He comes early, he stays late, and he does everything right. And he leads, and that's the thing. He leads by example, and that's what you need. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when you look at when you look across at you know at our starting lineup and outside receivers, I mean, we're 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 six three plus out there. Um, I mean, we look good, and and not only do we look good, but we play well. And uh, you know, Cordell, you know, of course, is in a league of his own right now, and uh, Marquise is going to be there. I mean, Marquise is a, is a Great talent. Fortunate that we have a lot of depth, and uh, you know we feel like right now we got guys who can go in if we need to give guys a breather, and we don't really drop off much. And uh, that's what you want. You want, especially in the tempo of the offense that we play in. You know, guys are going to run a lot, and uh, we're fortunate to have guys who can roll in, and uh, we, you know we don't really skip a beat, and that's it's a good thing. Our starting receivers, we got Graylin Crawford at one side, and. You know, he's just as just as good as he's been the past three years here. We don't expect any you know drop off of productivity. If anything, you know he's going to do more, We're trying to get that ball to guy, that guy the ball as much as we can. Uh, on the other side, we got Chris Lott, who's been a two-year starter, really solid, runs great routes. You know, he he's just so smooth through his routes and catching the ball. He's very impressive to watch. Behind Gray, then we got Michael Brooks, who's probably been the most improved player since the spring till now. He's done nothing but come out and press everybody every day at camp. Ryan Gamble is behind Chris Lott, and Gamble's just solid. Big old guy who can block, catch, do whatever you ask him to do. Great team guy. Their biggest strength is experience. I mean, you got four guys that have seen the field for you know, two to three years with each of them. I mean, they're they're good leaders. They're good guys, and they you know. It's just guys like that you have to have to win a championship. I'm not throwing as many passes now, but it's still, you know, talking to guys, correcting routes, um, you know, just making sure they're seeing the same thing the quarterback's seeing, letting them know that you got to communicate with the guy throwing the ball. I mean, I've, I've had a blast coaching. <laughs> I've had a blast playing, and I'm having a blast coaching. It is different going from being a teammate with them to coaching them, but I think there's respect there through the things I've done in the past and the way I've worked with them as a quarterback. I mean, not the way I talk to them as a coach is no different than how I talk to them when I was their quarterback.